Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways. It's a little chilly out here. Clear skies, no clouds, but chilly. It's starting to get later in the day right now, and the sun's going to be going down pretty soon. So, <clears throat> today, I was running around tracking down a package that I uh, got from... Uh, a company that wants me to review one of their products and uh, I'll be doing that and I've got some ideas about that product so um, I've got to put together my uh, video plan for it because just because I'm editing now doesn't mean that I don't just shoot and upload there are no real changes to to anything that I shoot in my videos. What you see is what you get. That's me basically just shooting a video and then the editing I'm doing is just adding things like the um, the intro with the music and the subscribe shake uh, subscribe share and a like thumbs up things adding that stuff in um, over my existing video but the video itself is as um, shot just I, I go out I shoot it I come back and I upload it and I um, do some editing and that's it it goes to YouTube and then you guys get to see it so um, there's no changes in anything. I'm not hiding anything when I do a video. It comes out exactly as you see it. So today, I chased down that package because I've got to do a review on a product. And uh, then I, I also did some research on um, lithium batteries. And boy, there's a lot to know about lithium. It's not just a new type of battery. But I've also, while I was doing that, I came across a new one, and that's the salt battery. So I've got to do some research on the salt battery. Um, I've got a video saved on it for um, comparing the salt battery to the LIFO, LIFEPO 4 battery. So I want to watch that and see what comes out of it. But yeah, there are so many clones of, of batteries out there. And uh, one thing I've found is... Uh, a lot of the uh, Chinese batteries that are out there are um, saying that they have uh, low temperature charge protection, and they don't. They don't. And I know that because um, Will Prowse, uh, I'm sure anybody that's been into solar knows about Will Prowse. But if not, um, take, take a, a gander at Will Prowse's videos. Um he does uh, talk like everybody's supposed to know what he's saying. Um, I get the gist of what he's saying because I do have some electronics background and solar background, so I understand what he's saying. But I think to, when I'm listening to him, I think to myself, boy, those poor people out there that know absolutely nothing get on his um, channel and they see this stuff, they haven't got a clue what he's talking about. So he needs to slow down a little bit and um, talk to the beginners, talk to the uh, unexperienced, because they're the ones that are looking for that information. The people that know all about it already, they're not looking up for you. They don't need your opinion on it. They already know it. <laughs> so, you know, so that's anyway, uh, that's that. So on the way back, remember I told you somebody had dumped a... Um, a clothes washer down the road there and some other junk along with it. So I stopped at that today and I pulled out all the stuff I could off of there that I could prob probably use. Here's the motor. There's the big pulley that was on the drum, which is there. And that's a stainless steel drum. That's a nice fire pit. So I might change that one out for the one I've got. And then give my old one to um, one of my neighbors if they want it. So they have an outdoor fire pit too. But I like this one. This is a nice one. It's stainless steel too. And uh, this one doesn't have a 
um, a tube coming up the center because it was a front load washer. But yeah, look at that nice shiny stainless down in there, huh? That's nice. Well, anyway, um, I got all the scrap metal and the circuit boards, and these came in just in time because uh, pretty soon it'll be warming up and I'll have to do spring cleaning anyway. <laughs> all right, all right. So I got that stuff. Um, I got the motors over here. Now this is the main motor and it was seized up. Apparently the, the washer sprung a leak in it and water leaked on the motor and seized it up. So they thought the whole thing was bad, but I freed up the motor. Look at that, it's smooth as silk. I got the cords here and I got the electronics. So I'll be able to use that motor and I've got the big pulley that goes around was on the drum and I've got the um, the, the fan belt or the belt that was on that around here somewhere. But this one is this is another good one. Um, these little pump motors that that you this is the head of it that goes on there. But normally these these are what pump the water out. But as you can see when I turn that, it's got a like a stop place where it goes right in there. That's because it's a permanent magnet um, motor. And these permanent magnet motors work in reverse for generators. So I could hook up something to spin this and then the motor will put out electricity. Uh, how much? I'll let you know when I do the experiment on it. But there's some nice uh, aluminum parts on there. And then the metal parts. I've got some of the sheet metal that I'll probably use for one thing or another. And I just use a a propane torch and burn the labels off so uh, it cleans them up if I need to. But yeah, I got this all over there today. Uh, this is the uh, unit that was on the bottom of the drum, or actually it would be the back of the drum though, because it was a front load washer. But uh, those three legs on it are solid aluminum and then the center shaft. And uh, if I don't recycle the metal on it, I can slip a pipe over the top of that. That'll make a nice um, set of feet for a new swivel chair. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's what I did today. And uh, just fed the dogs. Poor Patch is over there. Um, yesterday he had a big lump on his head and he wasn't very hungry at all. And then today he shows up and he's got a big blotch of blood on that where that lump on his head was so i don't know if it was some kind of a cyst or something that popped or what but uh he's feeling a lot better today and that's a good thing and he comes over every now and then and uh wants me to look at the look at his head right buddy you want me to look at your head oh you're limping too what's going on so, yeah, so I'm going to give him a little while, uh, a couple of days to uh, start feel a little bit better. And then I'll, uh, I'll get some warm soapy water and some uh, hydrogen peroxide, 50-50 mix in the water. And I'll clean that um, thing up on his head so it doesn't hurt him. And just to make sure that I disinfect it. Anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. This is G-Bear, signing off.